Okay, so we're about to do the other part that we need to get for everything to work. And one of these things is to set up a Dropbox account. I have logged in to the dropbox.com. Actually, I've just put it in my browser. Um, and one of the things you can do here is you can sign up for a free account. You basically just fill in the information here, create a password, and then click sign up after you agree to Dropbox terms. So we are back here with our X96 Mini and we are uh, going to go ahead and set up our apps and there are three that we have to set up and I do that by clicking on the apps thing and the first one I want to set up is Dropbox and I will sign in and then we'll catch up later okay so when you set this up you're going to have these options. Do not select try free for the 30 days. That's the business level. Just go ahead with the basic. Right, we have set up our account in Dropbox. We're going to set up our Drop Sync. We're going to connect ourselves to Dropbox. So we're going to allow it to go ahead, it's asking for permissions. And we'll choose what to sync later, because we're going to let the system actually set up what we need. When you, when you do select, when you're finally ready to do this, you're going to have to actually allow it permissions to go there. And we will allow, we'll start by creating a test folder, folder pair. All right, our last step is to go and update our video kiosk. So we're going to select that app that we downloaded, Video Kiosk. And you're going to want to allow pretty much everything that it asks for. And we're going to try, first we're going to do the free trial. And what will happen is that you'll see that this watermark will stay there whenever we're using it. And we're going to go to settings. So there's a lot of things in here that we have that we can do, but let's start with this file and folder. And what we want to do here is find that Drop Sync Files folder and select it. Uh, launching. Launch on startup. This is important. Launches automatically when the device restarts. That's an option that I suggest you check. Um, restart daily is another option which I think is a really great option to do just to make sure that it actually works so every day it's going to do this and we can set the time this is set for midnight which is fine and then the last thing that you are going to do here um, you'll notice that whenever you exit this you're going to get this question before exiting make sure this reset the home app go to the home icon and the button on the bar and choose a different home app then if you want this app to become the home app again, relaunch it and choose it as you asked for. What they're talking about is up here. Our home app, we want to always be Video Kiosk. Okay, once we're happy with the video kiosk set up. We see everything is working the way that we want. Um, what we need to do next is actually go ahead and purchase the license. And it's pretty simple. Once you've set up your Google Play account with a debit or credit card, you simply go in and purchase.
It asks you if you want to do that. I say yes. It's going to make sure that it's who it's me, and I would recommend that you leave the remember me on this device blanked and confirm. You'll get an email sent from the vendor every time we want to confirm our password, so we don't want somebody else hacking into this. All right, and the free trial now disappears. And then the last thing that we want to do after doing all of this is we want to go back to the settings. And I'm navigating, by the way, by right-clicking on the mouse. Go to Apps, scroll way down till you see the Google Play Store. this guy. Not the Google Play services, this one, Google Play Store, because there's a little bug that seems to happen and then the last, and it will just pop up every once in a while in the middle of your kiosk display and it requires somebody to actually click on something and since this is a standalone kiosk we won't be able to do that so the fix for that is to simply disable and again you want to do this after you have paid for the app otherwise you won't be able to pay for the app. And that's it for this part of it. We are now set up. The kiosk is ready to run. We can unplug our keyboard. We can unplug the mouse. And we can Velcro the X96 onto the back of the monitor and go mount it. Except I did this in my house. So we're still going to have to go to the church with the unit, with the keyboard and the mouse, and get it set up. All right, next video I'll be showing you how to set up the actual drop sync on the other side on your laptop so that you can update this.